Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am memory planning the week of January 25th in my Aura Estelle Cloud Planner using my Caress Press inserts. Um, I am using this beautiful kit from Two Little Bees. I love how it turned out. Um, it's it's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, it's a like lots of foil I pulled in and this kit has um, some beautiful florals and I ordered a lot of extra deco um, to do that and um, pulled all of that in so it, it's kind of busy but I also really like how it turned out as well. Um, lots of rose gold foil, it's really bold. Um, when Maria of Two Little Bees was making this kit I she had asked about the foil color I said rose gold and I'm so glad I think that it just pulls off of like the rosy tones in the kit and then just kind of with the greens the sage greens I think rose gold looks really good with sage green so I had a lot of fun doing it um I use two little bees kits all the time um, the way I put down the base is mostly going to be the same so I am just going to read um I'm gonna get like for the actual plan with me I'm gonna um it, you know, do the, sorry, oh, I'm so tongue tied. I just recorded this voiceover already and my mic wasn't working. So I had to redo it <laughs> and it's 1230 at night. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, for the actual day by day, I'm going to talk about the plants and the stickers that I use. But for this part, for the base, I'm actually going to answer some questions, um, off of my Instagram. So Tay of Shante Plans, who is one of my good friends, um, had asked some questions. So thank you, Tay. I had left off with them in the last video, if you watch that, and she had asked me one more, and it's a great question. As always, Tay comes up with really great questions, so um, I'll read it to you and answer it. She said, when recommending wine to someone who's never had any, what should they start with? And I think that's such a good question, and I don't know if I had ever thought about that before she asked it. Um, but when she did ask it, I think I asked for these a month or two ago, I was like, huh, what would I say to that? And um, it kind of brings me back to when I started drinking wine, which I think was in college. I didn't like wine before college. And uh, spoiler alert, I drank a lot before I was in college um, and while I was in college. And then we started drinking um, like sweet wine, like wine. We drank really honestly, horribly cheap, disgusting that stuff I wouldn't touch now. But we drank a lot of bagged wine um, that was really, really sweet, sweet. So like Moscatos and Rieslings. And I think wine is like anything else that you... Um, have to acquire a taste for. So any like, you know, coffee, beer, sushi, whatever it is that you had when you were a kid that, or you didn't have when you were a kid that you kind of acquire a taste for as an adult, it's like that. Um, so I think starting with something sweet is a good idea, like a, a Riesling or a Moscato. There's a lot of sweet versions of those. And um, I wouldn't say you should drink a super cheap bagged one, <laughs> but there's a lot of very nice wine brands that have them. And then I would say if you still can't do like even a sweet wine, if you don't like it, then I think a good idea is to add, make it a spritzer of sorts. So add like sparkling water and like fruit slices or do like a sangria, um, even add like, you know, Sprite if, if sparkling water is not enough. And then once you kind of, uh, acquire a taste for that, then I feel like you can start to pull those things out or start to pick out like what, what flavors you're picking up on and, and what you like. So maybe like you like peachy flavors in wine, or maybe you like when they're kind of citrusy, or maybe you like when they're kind of honey like or something, you know, and kind of pick out those flavors. And then from there, once you know the, the flavor profiles that you like, you can move from like a sweeter wine to, um, a drier version of that. So maybe you're like, oh, I like a sweet Moscato with a honey. Then you like profile, then you can look for a dry Moscato with a honey profile. And then from there you can be like, oh, I like honey. So maybe I like Chardonnay. I'll try a Chardonnay that is described as having honey in it or so. I don't know. But anyways, that's my thought process. <laughs> um, I, I'm no expert, but that's what I would say. Because <laughs> um, I did, when she asked that, I did actually give it a good honest think. <laughs> um, so thanks for that question, Tay. I had fun thinking about that one. Um, okay, so moving on to the day by day, I'm going to talk about a couple things in the sidebar first before I move on to the day by day here. But 
Um, let's see, what did I use? So I think the date dots were from Sweet Bella XOXO. The script in the upper left hand corner is from The Glitter Mama. Um, I have a code for her shop. It's Lauren15. You can find all my coupon codes down below. All of the snowflake kind of deco um, consistently throughout the spread for the most part is from Honey Inked. And then in the sidebar as well, I think that lace sticker is from, I believe it's from Bloom Paper Studio. I have a code for her too, Lauren15. And then that clipboard is from White Deer Stationery. And the little bow I put on top of it and also all throughout the spread is from my Spoiled Planner. I have a coupon code for her too. It's also Lauren15. I think all the codes I just mentioned were Lauren15. Um, okay, so on to the day by day here. Um, if you've been following along with my last couple memory plan with me, I have been talking about how the beginning of, I was so swamped at work the beginning of January and blah, blah, blah. You're probably sick of me saying that, but I didn't, I was just prioritizing work. And this week I, I think I had a breaking point the week before I was like, I got to just get my life together and do things that are not just work. So I did a lot of, I got a, very caught up on like personal admin work for myself, um, lots of errands this week, all of that. I got very caught up on, did a lot of things. So, um, I marked, you know, meetings and calling the help desk at work. And I did, honestly, I didn't even looking at my actual, I have my memory planner open and I have my actual functional planner open for Monday. I did so many things and I didn't even put them in this planner because I just, the list was so long, but I did, um, do a to-do list where I marked calling the doctor and laundry and grocery shopping, all that kind of stuff. I don't normally do to-do lists cause I don't, I don't love how they look to be honest, but sometimes when I have so many, just like menial admin tasks to put into my planner and that's all I did. Like I didn't do any big event or appointment or something. It just makes the most sense. So I did that. Um, and then, yeah, that's kind of it. So then moving on to Tuesday, I marked that on Tuesday. I actually got up early um, to read a lot earlier than I normally would. And I just had a cup of coffee and I sat on the couch and I read in the quiet, which was really nice. I finished the five love languages book. I think I had talked about it in the previous, uh, one of my previous plan with me's, but um, I've been really into it. I, I knew what my, or I thought I knew what my love language was before going into like reading the book, which I had always thought it was physical touch. And I still think it is, but reading the book made me realize that even more important, I think to me than physical touch is actually quality time. So that was a very interesting bit of self-discovery. Um, I, we've just been kind of trying to focus on those things a little more and, yeah, I've just been really interested in it. So if you know what yours is, your love languages, I'd love to hear about it. Um, if you have, like, if you know what yours is, if you, if you have a spouse, if you know what theirs is, I'd love to know because I'm so curious. And then if they're the same, that would be really interesting to hear too. And like, do you, if you know what it is, do you, is it just knowledge that you have? Cause that's how I used to be. I was just like, oh, I think I know what it is. Or is it something you kind of try and act on? Anyways, leave me a comment if you know, because I'm really curious. Um, okay, also on Tuesday, I marked, um, if in my last plan with me, I was talking about how I thought I had gotten pre-approved, or we had gotten pre-approved for buying a house the week before. Not true. We had just started uh, submitting all the pre-approval documents. I think we probably had a phone call with the bank as well. And then this day, we actually finished all of the pre-approval documents that we needed. There were so many W-2s and statements and investments, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> just a lot. Um, and yeah, I also marked, I had five meetings this day, quite a lot. Um, all throughout this week, I used some scallops from the kit to mark um, the meetings. And then I also supplemented with those from Panda Bird Design um, cause I didn't have enough in the kit. I also have a code for Panda Bird Design. <laughs> um, and then I used Deco from the kit. I had cut out the deco on Monday and Tuesday from the um, boxes from the kit, which I didn't need to because I had so much, but I did that. And then the little um, squiggle is from the Pretty Pink Co. I have a coupon code for her too. It's Plan Mosh Plan. Um, and yeah, I marked cooking a sausage roast thing. I make like sausage, potatoes, nothing fancy. I marked that with um, paper blush bar oven mitts, which are super cute. I have a coupon code for her too. <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop saying that. They're all down below. You can look for them if you want them. Um, 
yeah, I did a lot of cooking this week. I did a stir fry on Monday. That was so good. Um, like a kind of Asian style stir fry. I have all of my, um, if you if you follow me on YouTube, but not on Instagram, I do cooking videos a lot on my Instagram stories when I cook. Cause I just think it's super fun. And I have them all saved to my cooking highlights on my Instagram. Um, like the highlights, I don't know, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's one in the morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, check that out if you're interested. Um, Wednesday was a pretty boring day. Again, I had a, like four meetings this day. Um, so nothing super crazy. I marked, um, restarting my Noom articles. Um, if again, I've mentioned the past couple of videos that I am doing Noom, which is a weight loss program right now. And something I really like about it that is different. I I'm one of those people that have been on a million and a half diets in my lifetime. Not good for you. 10 out of 10 do not recommend, but anyways, um, something I like about Noom that's different than just other like calorie counting apps or whatever is that they give you articles every day that are kind of supposedly based in psychology to help you kind of reset how you think about weight loss. And I find them really helpful. So I had taken a little bit of a break, but I restarted them this day. I also scheduled an ear appointment because literally I think by the time I got my, I like had the appointment, um, I couldn't hear out of one of my ears for three weeks. And that's not good, but that's kind of just where I was at and not taking care of myself with how swamped I was at work. <laughs> I also marked a lazy night that day. I just used some deco from the kit and some honey ink deco. Um, okay, so then moving on to Thursday, this is where we actually got our loan pre-approved for our house. <laughs> so I used a Bloom Paper Studio little lace box that I love. And then that house is from Crafts by Towie, layered some deco from the kit. I think I said this in the first iteration of this voiceover, but not in this one. Um, most of the icons that I've been using are the foiled ones for the most part have been by Crafts by Towie and the non-foiled ones have been from uh, White Deer Stationery for like all of 2020. I've just been really enjoying that combo. I feel like both of those styles fit with mine and um, fit with a lot of the kits that I use. So that's, you can kind of guess for the most part. I also use some Regina Laughs icons too. Um, I used to Harriet Wright Designs the Bank uh, on Tuesdays from Harriet Wright Designs. I don't know, etc. but <laughs> all that. Um, okay, I also marked, we had our first call with our real estate agent, so that was really nice. I marked a meeting. Um, and then I'm also putting some snowflake deco at the bottom there, um, to kind of mirror what I did on Wednesday. I always fall into this trap of like, so I like when, you know, if I do deco at the bottom, I like to kind of balance that out by doing it at the top too, but I kind of have to really think about that in advance because my tendency is to like do all my, like start the top of the day with all my plans and fit all my plans in and then fill in the bottom with like whatever space is left over, fill it in, filling it in with deco. It's harder for me to like put deco at the top to anticipate how much space I'm going to use for the rest of the day, unless it's a day like Wednesday where I just really didn't do much. So I knew I was going to want to add a lot of deco in, but I try and be conscious of that because it doesn't, um, it's something that doesn't come naturally, but I know in my brain, like I do want that balance. So anyways, that's sounds like me taking my sticker planning way too seriously, <laughs> but that's how my brain works. Um, all right. So let's move on to Friday. Um, I had, I talked to my coworker this day. She was still on maternity leave at this point, but she, um, we were on, we were on the phone for like an hour, which was so nice to kind of just get caught up and get her caught up with everything at work. And I mean, not everything, just how stuff was going and, and she was getting me caught up on her baby and all that. Um, so I marked that with a clipboard and a, um, phone, honey, deco, blah, blah, blah. We also had an appointment in the afternoon for, um, one of those like home developer kind of like new build, build outs kind of thing. And it was for, um, we were looking at condos and townhomes and I'm so like, ugh, so hard. I'm so tempted by it. Like I want to do it so badly because they're beautiful. They're spacious. They've got a great location. We can totally afford it. Um, it's, it would be so easy and so nice to do, but I'm just really trying to talk myself out of it because, um, I, the resale value, I don't think is going to be as good for whenever we move out of it. So, ugh, 
so hard because it's like it would be so easy and so beautiful and so perfect but whatever anyways <laughs> get over it I'll get over it um after that we went over to Steven's parents house his brother was in town I marked that he came in town on Saturday but that was actually wrong he came in town on Friday so we hung out with him for a little while then we came back home um for a bit and then came back over for dinner that night I marked it super fancy. I don't know why, because generally I reserve really fancy, like big spaces for if I'm doing something really like a special event or something, which that definitely wasn't, but I just really went for it. So that was fun. Um, the hanging deco was from the Pretty Pink Co. And I can't remember. I think that box is from Aly Alyssa's Craft Shop, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, so moving on to Saturday. Um, so the weekend before this, that Sunday night, I think the shutdown, California statewide shutdown lifted and instead like counties were managing the shutdowns, which meant that Napa was able to reopen and at least, you know, a tiny bit for outdoor wine tasting. And literally, so that first Saturday we could, my family and I went up <laughs> and went wine tasting in Napa. We've missed it so much and it was so nice. Um, so I marked that again with the fancy box from, um, Alyssa's craft shop, I believe. And then I think, um, well, no. And then the, the wine glass is from Dash of Sun Designs. I also marked that we went to Sonoma Market, which is like a really cute little grocery store, has a cute cafe. So I got a cafe au lait there. We picked up like a picnic lunch. Um, and then we went to that first winery, that first winery, there was literally no one there. Um, and we were like out, the tables were probably 20 feet apart, but there was no one around us. We were like out in the vineyards almost. So it was really nice. It felt really safe. And it was just so nice to like be outside and just like freaking do something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's been hard not to. Um, and then uh, after that, we went to another winery that had a patio and we like in um, some wineries let you picnic and bring your own food. Some do not. So that one did. So we were able to kind of do a picnic there. And then after that, my um, family went home. And when we came back from Napa, I went over to Steven's parents' house with him. He had stayed back with his brother since his brother was in town. And I came over in the evening. Um, and I've mentioned this, I think, before. But Steven and his family have been really into, like, making beer, home brewing. So um, they made a batch that day while his brother was there. It's a really long process. It takes forever. Like, I don't know, a few hours to do. So we did that, ordered pizza. That was really fun. And then his parents um, had like started Game of Thrones a couple, like, a, I don't know, maybe a month before that and were powering through it um, where they were literally watching like two episodes a night. But I was dying because, so like they were, they watched the last episode that night. We watched it all together of the whole series. And I was dying because I think they had powered through it where they were like watching two episodes a night, like every night, but they were falling asleep through them. So I felt like they had no idea what was going on. And I was just like, oh, Stephen and I were just cracking up because they just, they were like calling um, Aria, like they kept calling her Aaron. They were calling um, Cersei Cece. Um, they were calling Tyrion Tyrone. I just was like, do you, what are you guys doing? Do you know what? <laughs> I was like, where have you been? Uh, all a good fun. They were laughing too, but I was just like dying because it was so funny to me. Um, <laughs> anyways, probably had to be there, but whatever. Um, okay, so Sunday was a really typical kind of lazy Sunday for me. I didn't do too much. I marked painting my nails. I marked that um, this was the day I actually committed and ordered the Aura Estelle Cloud Planner, which I'm so glad I did. Um, it's the Rose Quartz one, and Tulalbees has a cloud planner a little icon in her sheet deco piece. So I love that. I was able to layer that with some deco. Um, the edit and voiceover, I marked that play button is from the Pretty Pink Co. And then I just marked a lazy evening. So um, again, just some deco and a quarter box from the kit. And then I put some deco at the very bottom there. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all of the plans. In a second here, I'm gonna show you all of the leftover stickers and the spread, and then I am going to put all of the leftover stickers into a sticker book um, to ultimately give away to somebody once the sticker book gets a little bit more full. Um, but while I do all of that, I am going to answer another question um, to see if I can get <laughs> get through some of these. Um, so Abby Sophia Plan, this is from Instagram again, sorry. Abby Sophia Plans asked, what is your favorite and least favorite thing about working from home? 
So I think my favorite thing is definitely just like the freedom that comes with it as well as not having to commute. I hate commuting. I hate getting on public transit and I love that I don't have to do that. And I also just love the freedom of like, you know, if I'm tired and I didn't fall asleep until two in the morning and I want to sleep until nine and get up and have a coffee and go straight to emails, I can totally do that. Um, and I just love like the, the timing flexibility that it has. So like being able to do that or, you know, if I, if I want to like, you know, if I need a 15 minute break, I can like do my laundry or marinate some chicken or unload the dishwasher or do something productive. That's like, you know, on my to-do list. Whereas like at work, when I was in the office every day, that stuff all got saved until I got home at like, you know, seven or eight o'clock at night. And if I was taking a 15 minute break, it was because somebody who like, I probably didn't want to talk to in the first place came over and was telling me something about their kids or something, <laughs> you know, like just such a waste of time. So I definitely don't miss any of that. Um, I also love wearing sweatpants all the time. I don't know. My least favorite thing I think is, um, I would say not having like an ergonomic desk set up anymore. I, at work, I had like three screens, ergonomic chair, ergonomic keyboard, mouse. Everything was super ergonomic and, you know, fit for me. And then, I don't know, here I just can feel that I'm sitting, my knees and my back hurt from the way that I'm sitting all day at my desk. Um, I also really miss... I have mentioned this before, but I work in the beauty industry and there was a lot of fun like events with brands and we get a lot of free product and do all this stuff at work and I don't have that anymore. So I miss that a lot. Um, anyways, okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy. I hope you're staying safe and well. Bye.